So, dear Junior, or dear Alexander, I'm doing this in English because I guess you're English or you're Norwegian or you're Welsh or Russian or Lithuanian is not very good yet, or you're Thai. But one day I'm sure you'll understand English. Uh, the other day we were in the second largest building in the world, made by a dictator here. And afterwards, it was huge, a huge area of this city, which uh, now we're in Romania, it's Bucharest. A huge area was taken away just to make this. Afterwards, after we'd finished one hour of seeing perhaps 10% of it, we went to a little church. And there, the power of that church was so much greater, a little Orthodox church that had been actually wheeled away from that area when they built this huge thing. That church had more power than all of that vastness of buildings and gardens and so on. So the beginning of my message to you is that when you live your life, when you go through it, how fast things are, how slow things are, how big they are, you know, we, we human beings, we love all these things, but they don't mean much at all. Something else matters, and that little church had it. I had, a, as usual, I have a few quotes. The first one is by D.H. Lawrence, actually not Russian, he's English. <laughs> and it's called, it's a beautiful one, Life is traveling to the edge of knowledge, then a leap is taken. It's not enough even to have knowledge, it's not enough to dream. You, you should do it, yes. Not just look at the internet, you should read books and take time. But you need, at some point, to take a leap forward. That's the first one. Of course, you're young, very young. So there's Dostoevsky. One cannot understand everything at once. One must begin by being ignorant of a great deal. And if we understand things too quickly, we shan't understand them thoroughly. Take your time. That's the next message. Take your time. And things will come to you if you have the right approach. And time. Another one by a Russian. Time sometimes flies like a bird, sometimes crawls like a snail, but a man is happiest when he does not even notice whether it passes swiftly or slowly. You know time is not, has little to do with clocks, it has little to do with years or days. It's something completely different. It's how you see the magic of time, how you manage to live in time. Magic is, for me, something very interesting, too. Most of us, we can't see it anymore. But magic is not something in a... It's not... <laughs> there's also magic from down here, but... <laughs> magic, magic is not uh, something in a circus. Magic is simply... If you could manage it, in your lifetime, if the world takes this turn, I'd be a very happy man. If we can get back to seeing magic in everyday things. So, my last comment is a very obvious one, but it's still important. It's Turgenev, the one who also had the previous Russian quote, and I'll end with that. We sit in the mud, and we reach for the stars. Good luck with your names, Dane. Good luck with your life. Bye-bye.